on weight division. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds. James Van Sheer, our rep for this matchup, former champion, welterweight champion here at King of the Cage and many other organizations. And they are wasting no time by putting the pedal to the metal. Turbo mode. Right now fighting for that position here. Joseph Lee with the overhand, the overhook on the, uh, the, the neck there. Things are just so fast at this point. Lee coming out on top here so far. This has been a battle of uh, who's going to have position here on the cage. Peyton Talbot with the reach advantage, starting to utilize those limbs. Both fighters just trying to overpower one another and get that slight little edge. It's truly back and forth here. They're going to exchange some nice strikes. Definitely doing a little bit of damage. And Talbot now taking the back of Lee. Oh, this doesn't look good for Joseph Lee. He's now caught up in a rear naked choke, potentially. Yeah, I think you're right. Joseph Lee is kind of at a, in a bad position. I think he can get out of this. Uh, it's, it's not that bad. He doesn't have the hooks in. It's just hard to tell from this angle where we're sitting. But right here, you could, yeah, there we go. Talbot now in a more ideal position here. Yeah, Lee could get out of this. He just has to twist a little bit more. It's easier said than done. Softening him up, laying down some strikes. Now taking the Talbot back. Talbot holds on. Lee's trying to escape, and he gets it. Lee now going to punish Talbot a little bit there, but Talbot's still trying to take that back. Yeah, he is. He's absolutely just throwing some shots. He's going wild here, and Lee's just a bit confused. And this is somewhat of an advantage, obviously, uh, for Peyton Talbot. Now, Joseph Lee has a handle on the situation. 55 seconds remains. Got to make up for lost time here. To Peyton sort of sustain the situation earlier, keeping the fighters from the pace from going, and it just shows that Peyton is controlling this fight if this does go the distance. And it does, uh, the judges have to make a decision, so. Talbot now working from the ground. Yeah, it, it appears this is where he wanted to be, and now he's starting to control things more, too. Lee holding on to that arm. And Lee's in a, was in a little bit of trouble, as we saw earlier in round one, if you're just tuning in. Peyton was trying to set up a rear naked choke. The, the awkward position of it all made it impossible for him to finish it. But it did uh, make Lee think a bit where it's like, man, I, I can't really give up my back. Joseph Lee really going to have to put in some extra work here and try to improve the situation. Not enough time left. We'll stand back up for the end of the round. Round number two. Once again, both fighters starting off with some heat. Talbot slips there. Doesn't let it get used against him. Turns around on Lee. Both fighters still looking fresh. Peyton came up uh, in the last round. He was controlling most of it on the ground. Lee was in a world of trouble, but to Lee's credit, he was able to defend that rear naked choke attempt, which is very difficult from the position he was in, but yet it got Lee thinking and, and, and had to constantly defend. As Peyton was trying to confuse the situation, now taking it right back to the ground. So this could be uh, proven to be problematic for Lee as we know, Peyton was able to control things on the ground earlier in round one. And here we are, once again, on the ground. And uh, this, you know, may not be good for Lee if this continues to uh, stay this way. Like I said, in the minds of the judges, from what they're seeing, Peyton is controlling this fight, regardless if he's delivering damaging shots now. Talbot with the knees. Yeah. <laughs> That's got to hurt. I'm sure it does hurt. Joseph Lee quick, quickly gets out of that. And now they're slugging it out. Peyton starting to turn things up. Lee says, bring it on. But as soon as they start to heat up, Peyton closes the distance. And probably going to take this right back to the ground once again. More knees. Joseph Lee now back up against the fence. Talbot once again working the knees. Yeah, and he's going to start wearing them down over time. 
That, that stuff adds up. I mean, you definitely lead your legs when you're fighting. It's one of the techniques I've seen underutilized a lot in MMA is taking out the legs of your opponent. But that also leaves your chin to be exposed too. Talbot letting loose. This isn't looking good for Joseph, softening him up. Joseph gets up, great job, avoiding any more punishment. Peyton just looking to take this right back to the ground. Talbot once again taking things back to the ground. Yeah, and this is where he's dominating it. I mean, you got to go where, uh, you know, it works for you. There's no sense in standing up and risking getting knocked out. Any given day, any fighter could get knocked out. Lucky punch. You just never, ha never know. Peyton doing the right thing. Talbot continuing to punish Joseph Lee. Maintaining that back control. He's got that nice body triangle. He's definitely going to be there for a while unless Joseph Lee can break out of this. Just may get saved by the bell, though. And that will conclude round number two. Let's take a look at the replay. We are chapter three. Joseph Lee, Peyton Talbot. James Van Sheer, our rep for this matchup. King of the Cage veteran and former welterweight champion here. Now a referee. Lee turning things up. Starting off with a lot of action as usual. Yeah, Lee really has to gain points here. Talbot, some nice hooks and a nice head kick. Joseph Lee just getting thrown around. Yeah, it goes back to the ground. This is Peyton's world. Talbot now moving in. Lee's really got to defend this. If he gets taken back to the ground again, Peyton is going to control this, and he's going to risk giving up this fight to the judges. Joseph really going to have to be on the lookout. You know, it's all or nothing this round. He's really going to have to pick it up and do something impressive. This is Peyton's world. This is where he's going to control it. You're already at the two-minute, ten-second mark. And, man, Peyton is just going to try and dominate this on the ground. And regardless if he's delivering damaging shots or not, controlling it, and keeping the aggression up like this. Talbot setting things up. Just landing those shots, softening up Joseph Lee. Keeping him busy. Joseph Lee taking some more knees. Lee has got to be exhausted. Peyton has just been nonstop, relentless, smothering him, not giving him one opportunity to get up. As you see right there, more shots from the top. Lee kicks Talbot away. Talbot walks right back up. Sets up for more strikes. Peyton looking to continue to work here. Trying to get the full mount. Now trying to finish this off. One minute, 13 seconds remains. Does he have enough time to do it? This isn't looking good for Joseph Lee in a very dangerous position here. You know, Joseph Lee was in dangerous positions. He's got out of it before. Talbot just keeps cranking it. And he keeps cranking it. Uh, we'll see. Lee looking to swing out of this. And oh, he rolls out. Great job by Lee. Talbot, though, still taking control of the back. It's not over yet. No, absolutely not. And right now, Talbot is just uh, relentless. Like I said, he keeps smothering Lee. Just as soon as you think Lee gets out, he's right back underneath. Oh, this ain't good. Lee just taking the punishment from Talbot. What a way to solidify this fight. Round three closing on in for Talbot. Talbot just continuing to punish Lee and scoring massive points in the midst of things. He's going to finish strong here tonight. But uh, to Lee's credit, he hung in there. He stuck it out. Oh! Oh, and the ref will call it. I was wrong! Lee unable to defend. Your winner by TKO, Patron Talbot.